Hey hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. If you're wondering why I'm wearing <laughs> my hair up in a hair turban today, it's because I'm going to show you how I curl my hair. So I have gotten out of the shower, I've done my makeup ready for work and I've had my hair up in this hair towel since then to dry so I'm just gonna take it out most of you have probably seen in previous videos how I curl my hair so if you like how that looks and you want to cre recreate it yourself then just keep on watching so my hair's still wet so I'm just going to put some argan oil in it I use the Josie Moran argan oil hair serum so I just got a little bottle here. This is what it looks like and because my hair's so short I just take one pump of this and I focus this on the ends of my hair So I just comb that through with my fingers and then anything that's left over on my hands. I just Wipe on the top of my head. You can use just straight like Moroccan oil argan oil whatever kind of like oil treatment you use in your hair. That's fine. And then I'm going to just take my tangle teaser and brush my hair out a little bit. So because it's wet, I'm just starting from the ends and working my way up. I find if I don't brush my hair before I blow dry it, it gets in a big, big mess. So I like to brush my wet hair before I blow dry it. And that way I can just get my part right. I'm just then going to take some heat protectant. So I've just got a bottle of Tresemme heat taming protective spray. Just this one, everyone raves about this. And then I'm just going to take my hair dryer and I've got a VS Sassoon. This is the Milano 2200. And I'm just gonna take this on the medium heat. It's the cooler heat. So I've got two heat settings on this and a cold setting. So I'm gonna take it on the lowest heat setting and use the full air and I'm just gonna keep blow drying my hair until it's completely dry. My hair feels pretty, pretty dry. So I'm just gonna take my brush again. You can also like wash your hair the night before, let it hair dry and then curl your hair in the morning. It's completely up to you how you do it. So, and then taking some of these uh, hairdresser clips, just a section off my hair. And I'm going to go from the top of my ear and back around and pin this side up and then same on the other side. So just take the clip, spread it apart from the top of the ear and just pull it straight back and just separate the hair. You just twist it a little bit and then pin it forward. That way it's out of your way while you are curling. Then got my GHD straighteners here. I usually curl my hair with straighteners. I do also curl it with hair curlers that I have. I've got like a straight barrel. If you want to see how I use my straight barrel, I'm happy to do another tutorial using that. But for this one, I'm going to just use my hair straighteners. So I'm just going to turn this on. I love my GHD. So it takes like 30 seconds to heat up to temperature. I've also got just a heat mat down here on my bench. So I'm just going to pop that on. It is going to be a little bit more difficult at start to show you how I curl the back of my hair. But because my hair at the back here is so short, I don't really fuss with it for too much. I'm just trying to put, I guess, a bit of a kink in it just to give volume at the back of my head. So... I just take um, probably one to two centimeter pieces of hair and I grab my straighteners and I angle it down, grab the hair and then twist it inwards. So you want to twist it towards the back of your hair, hold it for a few seconds, so I usually count to about 10. And then you can just drag it out and you'll end up with a curl like that. 
So same again. You don't have to really take too much care on the bottom layers with your head. Like I said, we're just wanting to create a bit of volume at the base. So once again, angle it down, grab the hair, turn it in for a full rotation, hold the hair there, count to 10, and then pull it out and you'll end up with a curl. So I'm just going to quickly speed through the rest of my hair until we can get to some of the top layers and then we can I can explain it to you a bit better what I'm doing. So we've finished that layer. I don't bother hairspraying or anything like that. I don't really like the feeling of hairspray in my hair. So I just take out one of the layers. So I just let my hair drop out. I try and catch it somewhat, if that makes sense. So when I unpin it, I catch it. I then brush that section out. And then you can either use your fingers or your hair clip. But I'm just gonna go up probably about an inch further up my hair. So basically sectioning off like your fringe and your top area. Just going to pin that forward and do the same on the other side. So I'm going to start at the back here and work my way forward. So just taking about a one to two centimeter piece, grabbing my hair straightener. So as I get up in the layers, I bring my hair straightener down from the root a little bit and I twist it and then I leave a little bit at the end just because I want more of a wave today rather than a curl and if you go if you pull it straight through you're going to end up with everything curled in count to 10 and let it go so this front bit here I'm just going to split in two so about a centimeter down maybe three centimeters down from your root, clamp it on, twist it around, pull it down a little bit and leave a tiny bit at the end there. Count to 10 and let it go. So, and again, I'll show you here. So what you're doing is you're grabbing your hair straightener, two to three centimeters from the root, clamp it on and you want to twist it towards your face and pull it out a little bit once you've done a full rotation keep pulling until you have the desired length at the end and then count to 10 and then let it go and the other side will find that it's harder on the side that is not your dominant hand so for me it's easier to do my right side because I'm left-handed um, but just from practice I've been able to use my right hand on my left side it's a bit awkward for me yeah practice makes perfect with this and you can you can use like I used to use my left hand on my left side but I found I didn't quite like the curls that it was giving me but it's completely acceptable I felt like the angle was a bit different because rather than coming from over the top I was coming from underneath and I don't know it's probably all in my head <laughs> but um, it just felt it just looked like the angle was different to me and the curls were slightly different So if you're not happy with any bits of your curl, like I'm not happy with this bit right here, just take your curler again and just curl that little bit. So then I'm going to drop down my next piece of hair, 
So I just do mine in three sections. So the really bottom bit, the second layer, and then the top layer. So I'm just brushing this one out. So you can still do GHD curls or straightener curls with longer hair. Um, I used to do it all the time with when I had hair before I cut my hair. Um, you just, instead of dragging it, say, only like a centimetre like you are in my hair, you just keep pulling it out until you get to the end of your hair. You don't have to keep twisting it either. You just do that one revolution and just pull it and it, it does curl your hair. So my front section here, because this is my longer side, I'm just going to split it down into smaller pieces. So just once again, clamping onto your hair about three centimeters down from your root, twist it, a full revolution. So because I want my curls to go away from my face, I'm twisting it around and then pull it out until you've got a little bit of hair at the end there. Count to 10. You can do alternating curls it's up to you. I just like the look of them all being the same way. You do tend to get a little bit more volume if they are alternating. So for the fringy area, I do twist it up while it's heating. For my really front area here, I grab it basically right at the root and I twist it up. So if you pull it slightly to the side and pull it out, you should end up with a nice wave. Just take one to two centimeter piece of hair, grab your hair straightener, clamp two to three from the root, twist it so you're rolling it towards the back of your head all the way around a full rotation and then just pulling it down towards the edge of your hair. Count to ten and then just let it drop. So you may have difficulty with your hair dropping out of the hair straightener. So what I try and do is, so I clamp on, rotate, and then I try and kind of pick this up and bring it up so it's not going to fall out of the hair straightener. So the front of my hair here, I clamp on closer to the root and then bring it up and angle it like away from my face and then let it go. So if you find that you have any weird pieces of hair um, like this front piece of my hair here at the end it's a bit bit funky so I'm just going to comb through it with my fingers grab my hair straightener again and just give it another whack. So I'm pretty happy with how my hair is looking these front bits here, I kind of just hook them over, over the like second or third curl that I've done, just to try and like get them off my face a bit, I guess you could say. So I'll just leave that cool for a little bit. So I think my hair is cool enough now. So I'm just gonna take my fingers. I don't use a comb or anything, and just kind of comb them through, just quite gently. just to try and separate some of those curls out. So as you can see, uh, by leaving those ends, it's got more of a wave in it than the tight ringletty curls that I sometimes have. Once you're happy with how, how loose your curls are looking, so I'm pretty happy with what's going on with my hair and how it's looking. I'm then going to take my Bumble and Bumble BB Thickening Spray. You don't have to get this one. It is a bit pricey. I only ever use a tiny little bit in my hair when I curl it. So this bottle has lasted me quite a while. You can also get, I think it's the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. That is way more expensive than this one. Or I think Schwarzkopf do something similar. It, yeah, get 
get whatever kind of texturizing product you usually use and I just usually pull my finger through and just spray a tiny little bit and then just kind of scrunch it. Same on the other side. And then just scrunch it. I also do a tiny little bit on the ends, scrunch it, just because my hair is freshly washed and there's not much texture in it because it's freshly washed. And just same on the other side. So you see it's just given a little bit of volume just in this area here. I don't like my hair to be too voluminous because my hair is quite frizzy as you can see so I don't like to put too much like drying texturizing product in it I just put a little bit just to give it a little bit of texture so there you have it guys that's how I curl my hair for a bit of a beachy wave to it let me know if you're going to give this a try if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up for me. And if you want to see more videos, click the subscribe button down below. If you have any particular videos that you want to see from me, let me know down in the comments box and I'd be happy to film them. Thanks for stopping by to watch this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone. Have a good day.